All right, hey guys, Mitch here from the Audio Dabbler YouTube channel, and today I'm going to take a look at MIDI steps again. Uh, on my one of my other videos, somebody was asking about um, setting up a um, how to how to export the MIDI out of MIDI steps into you know that way you can use it into your doll or whatever, but you really can't. There's no settings you can share it but it'll just share the m steps file it won't actually share the uh midi which would be really great if you could do that uh mr developer man men's women's whoever developed this app um if you could have a have a you know some sort of ableton live export or just a midi export would be pretty awesome uh, maybe have some options where you could do it per track or per pattern, per sets of pattern. I'm not really for sure, but I'm sure you guys could figure it out. Anyway, and so you say you have something pretty awesome that you want to, you know, kind of take it out of the app and, you know, bring it into Ableton Live or bring it into, you know, a doll on your um, iPad or something and, you know, really like tweak some notes and everything and then you can't do that from here. But what you can do is you can record it into something like Cubasis. And so basically what I have set up now is I just got it set to the MIDI port 1. Each of them sent into 2, 3, and 4. Okay. And then over in Cubasis, I already got it set up. I got them all armed. I just added four MIDI tracks and then each of the MIDI tracks under the routing I got it set to channel one, two, three, and four. And so each of these MIDI tracks will listen to the respective channel. And they're all re are armed to record and that means they will all record at the same time. You can go here MIDI input only for arm tracks. I like having that enabled um, just so I'm not recording stuff that I don't want to. Okay so Here's the arm tracks. Now, one thing is it don't really sync up. I couldn't, I don't, didn't see anywhere in here where there was a Ableton link. I may be just overlooking it, but I couldn't find an Ableton link inside of Cubasis. The only thing it was send me the clock, and I tried a couple, loading them both up in AUM and Audio Bus, and they, they still didn't play nicely with far as one trigger and the play button of the other one. And so the easiest way is just turn on the metronome inside of Cubasis, hit record and play, and then go over here to MIDI steps and then start. Once you have all your patterns uh, recorded that you want to, then you can just stop and see there's all the patterns. And then you can just, um, you know, trim it up how you need to. Um, oops. You can just trim it up however you need to, move them around so that you can, you know, line everything up, and then you're good. So you got everything inside of Cubasis now from MIDI steps on all four tracks all at the same time. So it's pretty quick and painless. Um, I do like MIDI steps because you can, once you got all these different patterns in, you got a kind of clip launcher thing. So you could actually do a little performance here, recording, capturing all the MIDI inside of Cubasis and then from there you got tons of options change different instruments you know move things around go in and you know do some real good real actual MIDI editing you know play some things like that and then once you once it all said and done you want to export this MIDI out you know you go up here to media and then you go to the mix down tab you create a mix down and then because these are virtual instruments, um, then you could create a wave and it would do a wave file in for alpha or flak, or you can mix down the MIDI and it'll mix down the MIDI. And so we can start the mix down of MIDI and there's the MIDI file. And then from there you can share it 
you know you can throw it on iCloud you can email it you can open it with you know here we go and then I can actually just send it to my MacBook okay and then I can let's go over to my Acer screen I still got my hat on it and let's pull up Ah, oh, it's gonna bring it up in Sibelius. No, I was gonna try to do it in Pro Tools. Quit. Okay, so let's bring up Ableton Live. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and so now I can go. I just put that in my downloads folder here, and what was that called? It was called MIDI test in my downloads folder. Okay, so. MIDI huh. oh let's just drag it over and see there we go and then see from here then there's all those MIDI notes that we recorded in from MIDI step and you can do whatever you want to with it. You know, it's not Ableton. So there's a lot of options once you get, you know, the MIDI into Cubasis or what other um, doll of choice you have on the iPad. You know, if you got an iConnect Audio 4 Plus like I do, you could actually just, you know, send it straight to Ableton, you know, that way. Um, or if you use MIDI Mux, you can just plug your iPad into your computer with the uh, lightning cable and use MIDI mux to send to whatever doll you have on your computer as well um, so hopefully this you know helps uh, this is a great little app uh, does need a kind of a export option but this is kind of a workaround for that export option it's pretty easy to just you know record straight in you know then you can you got the actual raw MIDI data that you can you know manipulate a little bit better um, a little bit more and you know add to things and stuff so anyway uh thanks for watching hopefully this helps um please subscribe uh, i'm actually going to think about setting up a patreon account to just you know kind of help um support the channel for good content and uh everything so i will keep you updated on that and i will talk to you guys later